the main reason I was attracted to Steinhardt was the name of Steinhardt. It's the School of Culture, Education, and Human Development. And for me, it actually made so much sense. Growing up, I always wanted to live in New York, but I also was interested in studying media, and I thought that New York was the best city, actually, to really get hands-on experience. Media culture communication invites more group participation, it invites more ideas and more like innovative like procedures to how you deal with a story or deal with a movie or TV or a text. I started studying music starting in fourth grade. When I was applying to colleges, the main thing I wanted to look for was one that allowed me to do music composition, music education, and bassoon. And this was the only school where right away they just told me, yep, you can do all three. <laughs> I'm taking music history classes, film scoring classes, what you need to know as far as technology and producing at the computer. While I'm studying film scoring, I'm also working on my own songs right now. I'm working on a project that's much more pop-centric when I was a high school student applying to colleges, I was really looking for diversity. I felt like I was in a bubble, and I felt like I needed to get out of that bubble. <laughs> in our program, you have the science part, this very specific science of digestion. And then you have food studies, and so that looks at the culture part, because no one eats simply by the number. We eat because we enjoy it, because it's cultural, because it's like a moment to sit at the table and enjoy something. <laughs> When you normally think about education, the, the first thing that people think about is, oh, you're going to become a teacher. But the truth is that there's so much more in the field of education and so many pieces to that puzzle. My goal is to start a school. So I really want to learn about different kind of curriculum building methods and learn about education leadership. I feel like education studies was really the kind of comprehensive view I was looking for in education. I've actually been able to meet a lot of people from other disciplines in different fields of study and we can still learn from each other and we can interact and just be students, you know, because in the end we're all students at NYU. We're all here together trying to do what we love and trying to find what we love doing through all the opportunities that are available. Yeah? And at the very end where it's fortissimo, like really I want an edgy sound. The students at NYU are also determined and driven, and so that kind of just rubs off on you. Um, and so you learn to kind of grab every opportunity that, that you can. That's how I really discovered who I was, by saying yes to playing in pits, saying yes to people who wanted me to write pieces. Just say yes to every opportunity you get, and be careful that you don't double book yourself. <laughs>
both on the faculty and connected to the city. You also just have all of these amazing opportunities to take a train to go see the Metropolitan Opera. You can go see the New York Philharmonic. And I've played in two pits outside of NYU. There are all the green markets in the city, but the Union Square one is where I do most of my grocery shopping. It's fun and vibrant, and there are so many personalities there, and you get to know the farmers, and it's a blast. There's always a new neighborhood to explore, and even the ones that I've explored, I think I've explored before, it's like there's something new. There's a little nugget there that you missed. You're a part of that. You're a part of this whole life that is New York. I attended this amazing talk with one of my idols, icons, heroes, um, Alan Menken, a graduate of NYU. He is known for Aladdin to Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid. He's done it all. He was asked questions, he performed pieces, and I got to meet him and shake his hand and freak out <laughs> afterwards. And you're one of my scholars. I will never, ever forget it. So amazing way to kind of close my chapter at NYU. During my time here, I just learned so much more about myself and the person that I want to be moving forward. And I think a lot of that has to do with the obstacles that I've also encountered and the challenges that I've had here. After my summer internship at Timing, I was actually able to extend into a full-time offer. And I have to say that if I wasn't at this university in this setting, I don't think those opportunities would have happened. So I'm very thankful for that. I feel like I've learned to broaden my mind it taught me to not only adapt, but also just to go after what I want. If there's one thing that NYU has given me, it's confidence to really say, I can do what I want to do. I just have to work at it. Through NYU, I am able to get my voice heard. As soon as I graduate, I want to do like print journalism at first, and then I want to eventually, in the future, get my own TV show. Being at NYU and in New York City has really help me to learn what do I value, what am I good at, and how do I just keep that in my mind as I continue to work in the city. This university and Steinhardt as well will enable you to become the best person that you can be because I think it offers you the opportunities to really challenge yourself and contemplate what it is that you want to do and the impact that you want to have, not just on this university, but beyond.